Welcome back to our subversion track. For this lesson, we're going to discuss how to make changes dun sa ating uh, uh, code base and sa ating repository. So in essence, we're just going to cover yung paano tayo nagko-commit ng files. So committing isn't that complicated. Yung commands is very simple, especially pag nagamit kayo ng GUI client gaya ng uh, Tortoise SVN. So, kahit nga hindi tayo mag-tortoise SVN, madali lang naman makita yung paano guma gumawa ng, uh, maggawa ng changes. So, by default, kunwari meron itong ginawang change. Kunwari, ayan. By default, you just SVN init. Then, M Ayan, automatic na niyang hahanapin lahat ng mga na-modify and co-commit niya. And again, bago ang lahat, we're going to this, sasabihin ulit natin na always uh, palagi kang sinasabi always. Kailangan, walang masyadong malaki para dito sa message na to. Always, always add a commit message. So, for yan, SVN commit, uh, eh, lalagay mo yung uh, message using yung dash m. So, kung wala kang linagay na uh, dash m, as far as I know, by default, it's going to open uh, text editor yung text editor is yun ang gaya ginawa dun sa last time dun sa edit it would check dun sa SVN editor editor and so on so, dito nyo ilalagay yung uh, message so, so another line kasi okay, lang. So, yung note lang dun sa commit message, yung commit message, uh, it's it's not really, there's no easy way to say kung ano yung lalagay nyo sa commit message. It's like naming a variable or adding a comment dun sa ating code. But the point is, like adding comments sa code, ang important is you're going to add not only what the change is, but also why the change was done. There are some cases na, well, in many cases, di mo na kailangan lagay yung why. Kasi kunwari, you're doing a code module. Obviously, ikaw yung gagumagawa nun. So, uh, there's really no reason. But for bug fixes and feature changes, uh, you're going to have to add yung ating uh, uh, yung reason mo bakit change yun. And, of course, yung why. So, mm -hmm. Hmm. May problema yata rito yun using GVIM. Nah, hindi supported, hindi fully supported ang GVIM. But anyway, the point is, kung naayos, hindi ko kinonfigure ng tama kasi against a version. Eh, sa version na ito. Yun. Uh, you can set yung... Uh, Again, pwede mo iset yung ano uh, natin. Uh, commit message. And in addition to yung normal na commit, you could also use yung uh, other stuff. Nalagay rito. If you want to delete a file, is SVN delete, SVN add. Dali lang yata yung SVN add. Gawa tayo na isang bagong text file. Gawa na text. Gusto natin siya i-add, svn add, blah, that text. Yun na, na-add na siya. Pero if you're going to add, delete, hindi pa yun ma-apply sa repository until nag-commit kayo. So, yun. Kung gusto nyo i-add na siya, yun na, svn add, whatever. Kailangan lagay lang ngayon ang magandang uh, test message. 
and so on yung mga iba SVN add SVN delete SVN copy SVN move SVN uh, make there um, also another note um, another note bago tayo mag commit you may want to use yung SVN status SVN status shows the status of your uh, of your file system. So, ito, A means uh, i-add pa lang siya. Uh, may pending add. Yung M, meron kang ginawang modification. So, kung nag-commit ka, lahat ng mangyari sa SVN status na ito, ma-apply dun sa repository. So, meron mga ibang options sa SVN status. Check nyo lang yung help file about that. Uh, in addition, gusto nyo makita yung mga changes, you could use SVN diff. Nakikita nyo yung mga changes. So, blah, walang nadagdag, pero alam mo, in siya. Also, yung to-do list, pagdating sa to-do list, ito yung nagawa sa to-do list. Yung minus, which means nabawasan ng line. Uh, in addition to SVN status, SVN diff, yung mga gagamitin nyo bago kayo mag-commit, uh, you may want to revert your changes. Kunwari, parang wala, parang mali, mar, mali, marami kang maling nagawa, you could always use SVN revert. If you want to revert just one file, yun lang, to do this. So, yeah, pag tinignan mo SVN status, isa na lang. Or SVN revert na revert lang, that would revert all changes. As far as I know, pero mali yata ginawa natin. So, yeah, not enough arguments. Anyway, so, pinamadali yung SVN revert to-do list. Or yung uh, file na lang. Anyway, so, yan. Pag co-commit nyo na, balik natin yung error, yung uh, change. So, SVN status, dalawa. Yan, SVN commit. Whatever. So, yung mga minensyonan kanina, ah, uh, Mara, medyo simple lang siya it's not really even a dozen kahit, kahit sino kahit hindi, na, hindi, hindi, hindi siya mahirap i-memorize however for many people medyo matrabaho pa rin yan especially again in experienced developers you may want to use a GUI client kasi for instance ito Tortoise SVN uh, to do yung mga uh, clients offer yung mga features na ganito kunwari may kita mo kung ano yung mga na-modify and kung i-double click mo siya may kita mo yung modifications also you could uh, select kung ano yung gusto mong idagdag dun sa commit kunwari is it do list lang gusto mo i-commit parang modify to do list so isa lang yung makukommit sibla hindi pa rin nakukommit kaya kung gusto mo na i-commit yan add blah text so, yun, nahiwalay mo yung mga changes. And also, kunwari, nagdagdag ka ng isang bagong text document, hindi, pwede mo siyang i-diretsyo na SVN add dito, or pwede mo rin siyang i- dito na i-add. You know, automatic na, uh, siya na bahala maglagay ng, uh, uh, siya na mag-perform ng add at siya na rin magkocommit. So yun, may kita nyo madali yung, parang kayo magagawang madali sa uh, GUI client. However, yun, in some cases, parang nakatamad mag GUI client rin. Kung nasa command line kayo, if you're using a code na mara madal maraming ginagamit sa command line, you might find it easier to use the command line. Anyway, to wrap things up, meron lang isang another message na kailangan sabihin sa inyo, which is, commit often. Parang ito yung sa parang ito yung dun sa matawag mo rito. Yung sa Word document natin na kailangan mong always ka nagsisave para hindi ka hindi masira yung code mo kasi wala lang sumabog yung computer mo. Sayang naman yung code na hindi mo commit. However, don't break Sina kahit sabihin commit often o huwag nyo pa rin kalimutan na huwag kayo mag-break ng build. Anyway, that's it for this lesson. 
नेक्स्ट फ्यू लेसन में जो आप अपने किसी तो नहीं बेसिक से 